Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems and today we have got a system from Gigaman to check out and by the looks of the name of this system it looks like he's uh, remade a space engine simulation in Universe Sandbox so this should be um, this should be pretty cool so this is the RS8496-902-8-13789 475 system so without further ado let's go ahead and see what he has prepared for us here so let's uh there it is there okay so it's got a screenshot from the space engine as its thumbnail because i'm guessing it's quite a large system then okay oh okay so i took the system from the space engine okay it's a five-fold star system oh wow we okay construction of the system took a long time because space engine set the wrong parameters mass distance between the objects now the system is stable and works Although I did not add all the asteroids, I'm too lazy. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, the asteroids are just sort of minor anyway. Uh, the gas giants B1 and B3 have a lot in them. Around B2 added all of them, but strong interaction of the orbits are unstable. If necessary, change the illumination in the settings. The star shine uh, orange, and this makes the planets appear orange too. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, all right, awesome. Right, let's see what he's prepared for us here then. So this is a space engine simulation universe house. We can see... It looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. Space engine stuff, Barry centers everywhere. So what we'll do is we'll start off in the center here. So we'll start at the star. B, A, M. We'll start here. Yeah. Right, okay. Orbit mode. Aha, so that's a better sort of look at it. Okay, so you can see that's all looking really cool. Right, so star itself, first star. We can see um, red dwarf, 100% red dwarf. Mass, radius, all red dwarf characteristics there. Okay, onto the first of the planets. So we have a green world. Looking pretty cool, actually. Nice. Okay. So we have a look underneath it. There's a good view of it. I like it. All right, nice. It's also got some moons as well. So both of those guys there. All righty. And also, just a side note, Milky Way light background. You don't see many of anyone use that these days. The light version of it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, next up, obviously, Barrier Center's center of gravity here. Okay, over here, right, BA2, so a gas giant. And as we can see, very, very nicely colored design indeed. It definitely looks like a space engine sort of design with the purpley shade. If we go on to lighting, we'll go to studio. There's a good look of it without the colors messing it up. So we'll just go on a directional light. So there's a good view of it. Very nice indeed. Um, if we look onto the moons as well, I'm guessing it's just mostly asteroid moons. So it's not really, uh, yeah, we're not really missing out much um, with those guys. So... There we are. Nice job. Okay, next up we have got BA3 over here. So another uh, gas giant object. Here we can see it's also got an object very, very close to it. Typical uh, space engine fashion when they do stuff like this. So yeah, very, very close moon indeed to the parent planet there. Nice sort of um icy sort of frozen looking moon. Oh, it's actually got... Ooh. Oh, wow. We Okay, so we've got a bit of glitches, but okay, that's fine. But from, if we look at it from this side, yeah, it's a good looking world. I like it. I do like the clouds on that. It's a nice sort of shade of light blue clouds. On there, and also gas giant itself. If we look on its stats there, so it's roughly uh, more of a gas dwarf. So only 0 0.987 Earths in radius, so not the largest thing out there. Okay, right, so taking another jump. So now on the second star. Oh, it's a brown dwarf, actually. Okay. Oh, is it a brown dwarf? Maybe it's just a barrier center with the star. Maybe it is a legit planet, but maybe it's more of a brown dwarf. Let's put it to zero. So that's what it looks like underneath. A gorgeous looking world there as well. But let's put it back to the way it was intended. So let's put it back to a thousand, roughly where it was. So looking good. Onto the moons. On the planet. I, I think these are many planets because I'm pretty sure that is a brown dwarf. And uh, then onto the planet. So they're all um, fairly basic looking worlds over here as well. So just normal sort of asteroidy sort of appearance. Just plain sort of design there. Okay. Cool. So sort of generic sort of a uh, rogue planet really or generic rocky planet okay next up we've got b1 over here this is a gas giant nice golden sort of yellowy sandy gas giant there actually looking pretty cool got some moons very nice indeed if we look underneath it's case for more of the generic sort of rocky look i like the realistic look i have to say because it's still nice having fancy colors here in a while but it's still cooler to have realistic stuff like this so yeah i like this um so b1 b2 that's quite a dark um object there and then b3 over here another lighter one Cool, and then I'll see all the other moons. These are all just minor moons, so I mean, they're not really too much there. We need to check out there. And then lastly, we've got B2 over here. So is this the Haskell one I think he was talking about? I'm not sure, but here it is. So we can see nice clouds on it. If we look at the stats, let's have a look at the stats here. Yeah, no life like I don't think it's got any water on it. That's probably why. So about an Earth in size. Looking good. Also got some moons with it as well. So I know Space Engine does like to give objects quite a lot of moons, so 
There they all are there. And then, yeah, they last in the moons too. Okay. Nice. Okay, so now we're taking a jump. So B3 over here. So another gas giant, also surrounded by tons of objects. Okay, so here it is. So we can see a um, nice little ring system. Yeah, um, we'll go back to realistic lighting. I want to see how dark it is now. Cause it's going to get start getting dark. We're getting quite far away from the stars now. So there they are. Um, we've got this object here. So this blue um, eye or gas dwarf, I should say. Actually, quite a nice uh, colour there. Cool. Back to studio lighting, I think. Um, and then um, the other moons, we'll just go through them all. So here they all are. Nice. So did we do that one as well? Yeah, okay, cool. So five, moon five, and then the rest of them are all just minor moons out there. All right, awesome. So let's take another jump out now. Okay, so we've left that sort of inner part. So now we're taking a jump to the next sort of star out, which is over here. So this is the AB star. So what have we got going on in here then? So no planets there. Okay, so we've got a barrier center. So there's another, so there's three stars here. So we've got a little trinary going on here. So we've got the trinary here. Then we've got the binary where we were just now. So that's five stars. Okay, cool. So first of the planets over here, A1. So another nice uh, gas giant looking appearance there, ice giant. It's got also got three stars in the sky to uh, take a peek at as well. You can see all three of them looking good. Okie dokie. Right, so next up we have got A2. Nice greeny, yellowy gas giant this time. All right, nice. Also got a moon quite close to it as well. Nice, uh, nice shade of colour on this guy. Let's go to realistic again. Lighting. There it is. That's a better sort of view of all the objects. That's actually in a binary with this uh, moon here, or binary planet system, I guess actually. So there they are, and I'll see the rest of the moons will mine the little asteroids. Okay, cool. So that's where we headed next. Uh, A three over here. So here it is. So pretty, uh, pretty frozen up in appearance, as we can see. Also got a, quite a large array of moons um, all around it there. But yeah, they all look um, fairly sort of generic, all quite similar. So there they are. Okay, so, so that's all of the objects around those three stars. So we've done all those guys. We've done the ones at the original spot. So last we've got this over here. So what is this? Is this like a rogue planet? Or very edgy? Oh, so binary. Okay, so it's a very, very far out. Obviously not really any light receive, getting received from these guys. So if we look... Obviously, you've got the five stars over there, but you, know, you don't really get much uh, light here. Mainly just the light of the galaxy behind it, actually. And then um, we've also got this object here. So, um, yeah, all in uh, pitch black darkness. But, yeah, there we are. So that does it for this system, so this space engine system recreating Universe Sam. I've got to say, I really, really like it. It must have taken a lot of time to get all of these orbits uh, perfected. I mean, especially this bit over here. I mean... Get the Barry centers, getting all the uh, gravity set up between these guys. I mean, it's pretty uh, crazy stuff. So the Barry center, center of mass with two or more bodies that orbit in each other. So that's the point where they both orbit each other. So yeah, pretty awesome stuff. And I'll see back onto the uh, first part of the system over here. Yeah, very very nicely designed and all um, all uh, all working. So awesome. But here's the full lineup of the objects. You've got obviously got the four main stars. You've got the brown dwarf star here as well. And you also got some gas giants which are larger. So all of those guys, I really did like that brown dwarf. I have to say that was a good looking world. I think this my favourite looking rocky planet had to be that sort of pale blue atmosphere. I really really did like this design on that one. So there we are. Oh, it looks like uh, actually one of the minor moons did have a um, so did have um, yeah some customization. Got a green one green object. So where, where about did this reside then? So this was around the original. Oh, this was a planet, was it? I think we may have missed that. I don't remember. Did we did we view this one? Oh, no, we never did view it, didn't we? No, no, we did. No, never mind. I'm just being really silly. So if you look underneath, yeah, there it is. All right, yeah, cool. No, I was just being really stupid. Never ignore me. So there we are. Line them all up again. Is that going to work? Uh, come on. There you go. Cool. So just get them all, uh, all viewed again. So you've got that one with the rings there and the light there. That green one does look a lot different with all the stars lighting out. It makes it look like a different shade of green. But yeah, obviously a lot of the uh, same... It looks like it's been copied and pasted, but all of the uh, sort of more generic sort of looking moons, obviously the asteroids and bits and bobs as well, all the way down here. So yeah, pretty cool. All custom named as well, which is really, really nice. But yeah, there we are. So that does it for this system from Gigaman. So a massive thank you to him for sending this simulation in, guys. And you know, if you've enjoyed it, let us know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. And yeah, if you'd have your own simulations you'd like to send in, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description where you can upload them in our dedicated upload chat. And then yeah, I can get to them once they um, get to the front of the queue. So yeah, please keep that in mind. I can't get them done instantly as there's a bit, quite a big queue I need to sort of catch up on. So yeah, apologies for that. But yeah, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.